to install the steel, we need to reinforce the concrete in our foundations. Prepare to cut the mesh. We're ready to install them in our footings. Plastic props underneath so they sit in the middle of the concrete. Make this really solid to sticking up so the blocks go over the top of them. The block is going to align on the foundation later once the concrete's set. the door and leave the light on the morning light she'll be coming soon kick off your shoes and leave the winter and the pain it brings to you lay your head upon my shoulder shut off your thoughts and clear your mind The next process for these footings is to install the steel. We need to reinforce the concrete in our foundations. The lights way down low. You got nowhere else to go. We're going to go through all the procedures necessary to prepare this steel properly for our concrete pour. Trace your curves and view your skin. We start this process by taking measurements of our trenches. After attaining the measurements we need, we go over to where our trench mesh is and prepare for cutting. The product we're using here is called trench mesh. It's made up of three pieces of reinforcing bar welded together with cross pieces. I'm coming home, I'm coming home. We measure and then prepare to cut the mesh with our grinder using a steel cutoff blade. I always use eye and ear protection for this sort of process. Been on the road so long, chasing fame and fortune on the run. But I never felt this fear you me No more southern comfort nights Flashing signs of neon lights Couldn't only like you feel God I miss you With our pieces cut to size we're ready to install them in our footings It's been so long you don't have to meet for the moment we just place the mesh in our trench because later we'll be tying these together with wire. We continue to measure and cut all the pieces we'll need to cover the entire foundation. You don't have to see it my way I'm coming home, I'm coming home That completes laying out all our trench mesh. Got a few more things to prep before we can get concrete in, but we're almost there. We take a look around the entire foundation and make sure we've got mesh coverage in all our trenches. We can go anywhere you want. Don't have to see it my way. Got a few uprights to put in. Not lock these together where they overlap. I'm going to tie them together with wire. I'm going to put some plastic props underneath so they sit in the middle of the concrete. We use these plastic supports which are specifically designed for holding the rebar at a certain height for the maximum adhesion in the concrete system. I'm coming home, I'm coming home. 
we're made to lock into the rebar and hold it up so the concrete can flow underneath and keep the whole system stable so when you're pouring concrete, your mesh doesn't move out of alignment. She's in fame and fortune on the run But I ain't never felt this fear you rescue me No those southern comfort nights Flashing signs and neon lights Couldn't own me like you do God, I miss you I'm coming home it's been so long. We go through the entire foundation installing these supports and make sure we've got good firm coverage. Calling your phone, I want to see you face to face. We can go anywhere you want. You don't have to see it my way. I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Just putting a step together. When we come to pouring the concrete, I've got access to this lower level in a safe and ergonomic way. I often have to build temporary structures to enable me to move tools and materials in and out of my job site safely. You got a way left to go. Let your cares fall to the ground, lay beside me. Look, we found a lucky penny. I wonder how long that's been buried for. We'll keep that. Look, it's bent. I'm going to kind of improvise with some of my freeform retaining wall pieces I keep for pouring concrete and for building sort of scaffolding and access points, ramps and steps. So now we're getting a really solid, safe way to dump our concrete. As you'll see later, it'll make sense. I want to see you face to face. After testing out our step and being satisfied everything's at the right height, we lock it in with some screws. I'm coming home, I'm coming home. One more thing we're going to do before we pour concrete is put screws in through this treated timber because it's going to stay in place. This will help lock this treated timber into the concrete by putting screws periodically all the way along. This is going to help make this really solid to the concrete. And because it's treated, it should you know, last 20 or 30 years. The next step in preparing our steel for this foundation is to install our vertical pieces of steel, which will help lock in the concrete block that we add later. We have to cut these pieces out of our six meter stock of 12 mil rebar. I'm so tired of calling your phone I want to see you face to face We can go anywhere you want You don't have to see it my way I'm coming home, I'm coming home Once we have a piece cut to the right length, we just use that as a measurer to cut the other pieces. We have quite a few of these to cut. I need 24 of these, so I switched to my bigger grinder just to speed up the process, and then I've got to cut a bunch of short ones. These are going to go in vertically with that concrete, leave them sticking up so the blocks go over the top of them, it all ties the block wall into the concrete foundation. The local Corellas are always reminding me every morning, take a break, have a coffee, think about the next stage before we move on. I'm coming home, it's been so long Don't have to meet me halfway I'm so tired of calling your phone I want to see you face to face We can go anywhere you want You don't have to see it my way I'm coming home, I'm coming home
the reference mark we've put on the side of our forms. These reference marks relate to where our hollow concrete block is going to align on the foundations because we want this rebar to go up in the middle of them. Tracy curves and feel your skin Two lonely souls just wandering The vertical rebar gets tied into the trench mesh with special wire tabs. Once we're satisfied the position is correct, we tighten the whole system up with our pliers. I'm so tired of calling your phone. I wanna see you face to face. We can go in whether you want. You don't have to see it my way. I'm coming home. I'm coming home. We continue to check our measurements to make sure these vertical pieces will go right in the centre of the hollow concrete blocks we add later. Been on the road so long Chasing fame and fortune on the run But I ain't never felt this fear you rescue me On those southern company nights Flashing signs of neon lights Couldn't know me like you do God, I miss you I'm coming home We use as much wire as necessary to get a really firm, strong system so the concrete doesn't knock this out of alignment later. I'm calling your phone I want to see you face to face With all the reinforcement steel ready and prepped for the concrete pour. The final step is to get a few more timbers in this retaining wall around the ramp system. We've cut some of the treated pine timber into piers for the vertical structure of this wall. We start by fixing this corner section together and then work outward from here. We can go anywhere you want You don't have to see it my way Clamps are essential for this kind of construction as it's like having an extra pair of hands. As the treated timber is 50mm thick, we're using 100mm screws to fix all this together. Now the lights are fading down And it's past the witching now Once we set the pier at the right height We fix it off with one screw So we can still adjust it with our level Once we're satisfied it's level We fix it off with the rest of the screws Don't have to meet me halfway I'm so tired of calling your phone I want to see you face we can go We're cutting these piers to a specific height because they've got to match the full height of the wall once we add all the timbers when it's complete. This particular pier, I wanted to align it to the edge of the wall so it lines up visually pleasing in the finished product. It's been so long, you don't have to leave me halfway. I'm so tired of calling your phone. I want to see you face to face We can go anywhere you want you don't have With all the vertical piers complete I'm coming home I'm coming We moved on to the horizontal pieces we need to install I'm coming home I'm coming home I'm coming home Cut our horizontal pieces so they end up on a halfway point on our piers for strength and looks. 
We always crown our timber so we can see which way the timber's bending. This way we can make the most of the natural bend in the wood and have a nice tight wall. I'm so tired of calling your phone. We only need to build this timber wall up to a certain height for our concrete pour. And we'll complete the rest of the wall later once the concrete's set. This completes all the preparation needed for us to start pouring concrete. Join us in the next episode as we pour concrete into our prepared forms. Thanks for joining me this week in my YouTube channel. Check the link below and while you're at it, hit the subscribe button or make a comment so I can help you with your future construction solutions. And don't forget to follow our channel for more ideas and how-to tips for home and garden projects.